what the fact are the tie knots everyone should know. Whether it's a high school dance, a wedding, business event, a job interview, or you just want to dress up. Every man will come to a point where they have to learn how to tie a tie. So without further ado, there are five ties every man should learn. Probably should be in a suit for this. The Windsor knot, also known as the double Windsor, it's the same thing, is the go-to knot for most people. This is because it's simple and classy. This is because it has a prominent triangular shape, it's very symmetrical, and it's relatively easy to tie. This classic knot will serve you well in any situation. If you're just gonna learn one tie, learn this one. How to tie a Windsor knot. Bring the blade over top of the tail, loop the blade through the collar, loop the blade under the tail, loop back through the collar, and then fold it over to the left. Bring the blade back through the collar and through the loop you just made. Number two, the foreign hand. The foreign hand, otherwise known as a schoolboy knot, is known for its simplicity and versatility. It's easy to tie, slender in size, asymmetrical in shape, and self-releasing, making it perfect for everyday wear, like school or work. How to tie a foreign hand. Bring the blade over top of the tail and back underneath the tail and back over once more. Then bring the blade back under the collar and through the loop you just made. And pull on the tail to tighten. Number three, Prince Albert. The Prince Albert is slightly larger than the foreign hand knot, but it's defined by the extra fold that peeks out underneath the knot, giving the knot a little bit of character and style. It's slim, versatile, and should be used when you want to switch up your style just a little bit. How to tie a Prince Albert knot. Bring the blade over top of the tail and fold it underneath. Then back over the tail and underneath once more. Then you want to bring it over the tail one more time, through the neck collar, and through both the loops you just made. Number four, the moral knot. The moral knot turns convention on its head, designed to provide an alternative for the traditional office knots with its layered and non-traditional look. Today is best worn with casual wear. Pair it with jeans, chinos, and a plain collared shirt. How to tie a moral knot. Start with the tail and bring it over the blade. Bring it up through the collar and back over. Fold it underneath to the other side, up over the collar and back under. Bring the tail back over the blade, up through the collar, and through the loop you just made. Number five, the Trinity Knot. The Trinity Knot is a flashy, rounded knot that should only be used if you want to stand out. This is a tie that you only bring out on those really special occasions. This is a controversial knot that'll either be seen as impressive or a bit show-offish, but on some special occasions, that's exactly what you want. Now this knot is tied with the tail of the tie, so you want to make sure that the blade is hovering just above your belt. How to tie a trinity knot. Take the tail end and bring it over top of the blade. Bring it up under the collar and over to the same side. Bring the tail back under the blade and over the neck loop. Through to the other side. Bring it over the blade, back under the neck loop and through the loop you just made. Bring the tail under the blade and through the loop to the other side. Tuck what's left of the tail underneath the collar and adjust. This has been What The Fact. My name's Ryan. I'm the videographer and content creator here at The Peter Chat. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, hit the comments below.